Hello everybody, welcome to Southern Flavor. Once again, it's your host Terrence Warren. And what I'm preparing today will be some uh, deep fried Cornish hen. And I'm using my turkey fryer that I use for Thanksgiving to do this. So right here we have two Cornish hens, because most of the time two come in a pack. And I've uh, thawed them out in cold water. So now what I'm about to do is I'm gonna inject this Creole butter injectable seasoning with the syringe. Okay, now we got some of the injectable butter inside the syringe. What we want to do is try to keep the syringe under the skin and inject it. And as you can see, it's filling up inside the hen and you want to do this all over like so even on the back you want to turn it over and continue to inject the hen and what this is going to do is flavor the inside because when you're deep frying, the outside gets fried and crispy, but the inside still tastes kind of dry and flavorless. So what this does is flavors the inside as well as the outside. I've gotten the hens all injected and seasoned, uh, injected. Remember to repeatedly wash your hands when you're dealing with poultry. poultry. Sorry, it's country. That's why I'm in Southern. It's called Southern flavor. But what this is, is called... Sasson. I didn't learn about this until I spent some time in New York. But uh, it's good with just about anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle this over the hen. And I'm going to finish rubbing it in. I don't want to rub too hard because I don't want to rub it off. I just want to kind of pat it on. Kind of massaging it, massage the bird, get it completely coated, coated, let me dumb it down for the people that think I sound, oh, I'm not even going to go there, but we're going to make sure it's completely covered. I'm going to use the remainder of the pack on the second. Okay, now that we got the hens injected with seasoning and covered with sasson, we're going to let that sit for about 10 minutes. Just let it marinate just a few minutes. All right. All right, I got my, chick my hens seasoned and ready to go into the fryer. So I'm putting them in the fryer basket. Remaining juice from the season. While we're waiting on the hens to cook, we're going to start on our vegetables. What I have here is uh, some mushrooms, some green onions, some sliced zucchini, minced garlic, and some more mixed vegetables. We've got green beans, summer squash, and carrots. And what I'm going to do is make some stir-fried vegetables. You know. So what, I, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to add this zucchini to the already mixed vegetables. Kind of shake it out. 
and I'm going to take my uh, green onions and slice them diagonal. No, see, I hate white onions. I hate any other kind of onion but green onions. And this is more for flavor anyway, not so much for taste. Because I also hate eating them. But the green onions give it a nice flavor and they're not so bad to eat if I happen to bite into one. some uh, mushrooms, toss it around, and now I'm going to add some uh, some peppers, I got green peppers, yellow peppers, and red peppers, I'm just going to add them to the mix, what's also optional, and if I had time to go get it, I'd have some uh, either bok choy or cabbage. Now what I'm going to do is uh, season the vegetables. Seasoning it with is some uh, Goya adobo with pepper. This is one of my favorites. But not a lot. We're going to season it with this. Mix it a little more. Some spicy garlic pepper in my grinder here. because I still want to add some uh, some soy sauce and soy sauce already has salt in it so we don't want to add any salt to it. Now I'm going to add a dash of magi. And magi is, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, it's like a garlic soy sauce. We're going to add a dash of it. One salt, some of the seasons will stick to it. So when I put it in the oil, it'll cook with it. See now, I know a lot of people don't have one of these, but this is, other than an electric skillet or digital skillet, this is the best cooking tool for stir frying vegetables or rice. But I already have my rice cooking, so we're going to put this over medium heat, medium high, medium heat, whatever, whichever, and, and over that heat we're going to add some olive oil. Just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. If we need more, we'll add more later. Okay, we got our oil on a wok burning. It's good and hot. And we're going to add the minced garlic. cook for a while. Occasionally stir it about every five minutes. All right, we're giving this a stir. Like I said, about every five minutes you want to give it a stir. All right. Now, while we wait on this to cook and the corners hands to cook, you might want to have this with a drink. With that being said, I'm going to fix myself a Coco Loso. If you don't know what a Coco Loso is, check out this uh, drink recipe. Welcome back. 
Welcome back, people. This is Terrence Warren, your author, entrepreneur, and the Southern Chef. This weekend, special shout out to Sharad once again, we're going to be making uh, Coco Loso. What that will consist of is coconut syrup, pineapple juice, and let's see, we've got a cup of two ice cubes. So what we're going to do, we're going to add about... An ounce and a half of coconut syrup, a cup of two cubes of ice. I've already poured an ounce and a half of coconut syrup in here. Next, this whole can, this is a small can of pineapple juice. Now we're going to add it. Now to cut down on the bite just a little bit, you can, it's optional, add about a half an ounce of lemon concentrate. Shake it, and you're done. Again, that was a Coco Loso. For more drinks like this, I have a drink app that will soon be available on the iTunes and Android market called Drink to This. Enjoy your weekend. It's been about 20 minutes, so now I'm getting ready to take our hands out of the fryer and let, let the remaining oil drain. So the remaining heat will continue to cook the inside. And here's how they look outside out of the fryer. Crispy, so everything's cooked in. It smells good. But this is the finished product. I'm gonna show you how it looks on after we plate it up in a minute. And here's the dish. Well, I hope you enjoyed tuning in to Southern Flavor. I'll have more videos to come in the future. So uh, just keep checking back and stay tuned. Thanks for watching.